If you use Logic and use a lot of third-party software instruments and sims like Complete Control, you may be missing one crucial step when adding them to your project, and today we'll talk about what that is. I'm the Oreo Monster, you're watching Logic.Band. Visit Logic.Band and right there on the homepage, you can sign up for the mailing list to get a free Getting Started with Logic course. You can also become a member and get perks such as exclusive tutorials not available on YouTube, a live Q&A, and discounts on the hourly rate if you want to get some one-on-one -on -one training. Logic.Band slash member to find out more. So I'm here in Logic and I got a project open up with just a classic electric piano. Now, whenever you add a software instrument track to your project in Logic, it comes up with the classic electric piano. And now what a lot of people do, it just go into the channel strip and switch that out for complete control or whatever third party soft synth they wanna use. But if you do it that way, you are missing one crucial step. This classic electric piano by default is sent into a couple of reverb sends and the one send that is active is turned down pretty low. So it is a pretty subtle reverb, but everything you add to this track is still going to be sent through that reverb. So let me interact with the channel. In classic electric, solo, off, mute, off switch, 0.0, .0 depth, off, peak, off, zero, zero, pan circuit, automation, groove, off, groove, stereo output, but send button, button. Minus 28.0, send knob circular slider. So you see right there it says minus 28. Bus 3, group. So bus 3 minus 28.0 has a send level of minus 28. And that is a reverb. If I keep going bus three, here. Bus 3, infinite. Send knob circular slider. Bus 2, group. See bus 2 has a send level of infinite. That means it's turned all the way down. So that one really isn't making a difference. Now if we keep going to your left. Audio plugin, e piano. This is where we normally interact. And e piano, open, but list, button. And go over to this list button. Your space. Menu, 30, vintage electric piano, sub menu. Go down. Nope, re, sub, drum, out, drum kit design, drums, EFM, ES, 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 quick sampler, retro synth, sub menu. And select another, whether it be a logic synthesizer or a third party synthesizer. The thing is, whatever we add here is still going to be going through that send that we saw earlier. Even though it's a pretty subtle send to a reverb, it's still going to be going through that reverb send. And sometimes a lot of these instruments may have their own effects on them especially if you're loading up some of the third-party stuff like complete control or third-party drum libraries etc etc so closing menu close this. List button and what we want to do EPN, audio plugin button e piano group out of classic electric piano partially hidden channel strip group now if you got the logic keyboard ninja key commands installed if you press command option return it will reset the channel strip and that basically means it's going to make it a completely blank channel strip no sense no nothing track one classic electric piano group all right, so I'm back in the track headers, and if I press Command Option Return, that should blank the channel strip out. And let's jump back into the mixer here. Command now in Untitled One Logic in Classic Electric Solo Mute Off Zero Point Zero Off P Off Zero Point Zero Pan Circular Slider Automation Group Off gr Stereo Output Send Button Button Audio Plugin Button. So you see, there are no sends on here now. Audio plugin, button, audio plugin, but audio plugin, inst, button. And the instrument is blanked out as well. So that's the thing to keep in mind. You want to reset the channel strip with command, option, return, and that's a logic keyboard ninja key command before you add a new instrument to the channel strip. Now, another option you have is if you press command, option, N. In new track, dialog, choose a track type, details. Number of tracks to create. This brings up the dialogue for a new track, and if we go over one, content number of track help detail detail expand guitar extern drummer radio audio software choose a track type software instrument selected radio button. If software instrument is selected, and then we're gonna view right audio drummer external guitar bass expanded disclosure triangle details. Go to this detail group. Details group. Interact with in details bank. group seven items default patch pop up button right there it says default patch if you really always load something like complete control etc etc you can just be a space menu 20 alchemy sub menu and i'm gonna pick au instrument au generators sub menu utility sub menu au gener au instruments sub menu au, AU instruments instrument. joey sturgis tones plug in alliance pure feed audio sub menu pure feed audio sub menu one item liquid depth snare sub menu liquid depth snare liquid depth snare sub menu two item stereo right. closing menu liquid depth snare pop up button stereo Right. Cut off detail. Help. But number one. Cancel. Create. Create. Default button. Hit create. Closing dialog. So Inst2. Inst2. now we got the second track loaded up now here. Now untitled. Small room slash 0 0.4. Inst2. Now we got the second track loaded up here. And it just says instrument two. But it's going to have that liquid death snare 
on it. And if I add a new software instrument track, command option S. Track three, inst three, dialog, inst three, inst three, dialog, toolbar, button, inst three, close, close, button. You see, it will do the same thing and it opens up the plugin Tracks, window group, for you now. Now in, untitled one logics, untitled one, mixer, tracks window, inst two, hidden channel strip group, inst three, partially hidden channel strip. And if I interact with channel strip. Inst three, so, mute, zero, off, 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 stare, send button, audio, 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 liquid D, groove. You see it loads up liquid depth there. So if you select the complete control, every time you press command option S, it's just gonna load up a blank track with complete control. We go right audio here. Plug, audio, 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 send button, stereo output, button. See, there are no sends or effects or anything on this track. Now, this is a snare drum soft synth. I don't want every time I load up a software instrument track for it to come up with this. So I'm gonna switch this back. So I'm just gonna press command option N. A new track, dialogue, choose a track type. Detail. Cancel. Button. One. Choose a track type. To the top Software here. instrument. Selected radio Make button. Sure software instrument is selected. Okay. Audio. Drummer. Ep, get, ex, details. Details. Group. Go back to details. Group. In details. Interact. Liquid death snare. Pop up button. And menu. Let's menu. Twenty eight bytes. Liquid death snare. Empty channel strip. Default patch. Default patch. Default patch. Pop up button. And now, if I once I click create, it's just gonna reset this back to coming up with the classic electric piano the way it always has. But I don't know if you caught that, but there's another option in here that might be useful to you. Menu, 20, alchemy, sub menu, check mark, empty channel strip. Empty channel strip. So if you select this one, it will always come up with a blank channel strip, and then you can add whatever software instrument you want as well. So I'm gonna set this back to default patch. Check mark, default patch, default patch, check. And out of details. Group. Stop interacting with details. Create. Group. Default button. Hit create. Mixer. Layout. And now. Now in. Untitled one lock. Track, track four classic electric piano. Group. If I hit command option S. Track five classic electric piano. Track five classic electric. You see it's back to bringing up the classical electric piano. So those are your options. You want to select the channel strip and press command option return to reset the channel strip. So it's completely blank. There are no sense or anything before you add complete control or whatever third party option you want to use. And if you want to have it come up with that, then press command option N, select the software instrument track, and then go into a detail group and set it to the instrument that you always want it to load with. That way, every time you press command option S to add a new software instrument track to your project, it will always load with that instrument. And remember when you go into command option N and select software instrument, you can also set it to load an empty channel strip every single time that way you can choose what instrument loads up and you don't have any sends or anything on there those are some ways you can load software instrument tracks in your project the dialog you get when you press command option n is the same dialog that pops up every time you create a new empty project in logic so you can do it right there when you're creating a project as well Thank you for checking out this tutorial. Hope you found that useful and helpful. If you got any tips you'd love to share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with Logic course and I can keep you up to date on everything going on over here at logic.band. If you'd love to go deeper on any of these topics or anything relating to Logic, VoiceOver, macOS, or GarageBand, then book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting in logic.band slash training. Want to support what's going on here at logic.band? Then visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one time or subscribe to make an ongoing Patreon style donation. Links to all of these plus supplemental tutorials and blog posts can be found in the description below. And as always, until next time, happy recording.